winds are up offshore and uh, the inshore stuff was probably a bit lumpy today. So we're just out here at Woody's having a crack at some squid. How you going, Matty? Yeah, doing all right, mate. I'm um, yet to catch up. I've only got a couple in the bag. He's got about five. But the conversation we had a bit earlier was that um, women are pretty good at squidding, aren't they? They sort yeah. of outfish the men every time. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't bring them, to be honest. It's always embarrassing. But we're out here. We're going to have a crack. Maybe we'll even um, have a little anchor in the sand and chase some whiting. But today's just a bit of a bread and butter uh catch and have a bit of fun and yeah we just wanted to fill the bag with squid so it's not too bad in this little sheltered bay um i wouldn't like to be outside the heads but this will do us and we'll sit here until it picks up a bit more on. i've got the kraken on here guys i'm glad you got something mate i haven't had a bite yet hey, it's all right, right mate you, br you brought me out here that's all i needed Cuddling. Well, it doesn't count then. It does. <laughs> it's only a little weird way. I prefer eating it. Yeah, you get some meat off them, don't you? Jeez, yep. they're ugly, dude. Everything's beautiful in its own way, except for cuttlefish. <laughs> there you go. A little cuddly. I actually thought it was the crack and squid because they do quite a bit differently. But, um, I'm a big fan of these. You've got to bash them out and get them. You've got to bash the flesh out a fair bit just to get them to soften up um, or freeze them for a good period of time. But yeah, I prefer these to squid any day. There you go, he's gone to sleep, he's gone black. Quick chop on the head. And um, four up. Four. Yep. I did sneak one in land base before we caught up. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing, literally. Where you've got it all wrong is you've got to use a non-casting jigging boat rod. Now, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not. This time I'm not. Normally I'm using a T3. So use, use exactly what you shouldn't use and uh, find some jig that was in the cupboard for the last 10 years, probably a Kmart brand, and you'll outfish. No one, but at least you. <laughs> oh, you know what? What makes me feel comfortable about this is we did make a statement just before. Women catch more squid than men. And this is the reason why you're killing it. <laughs> okay. I'm in touch with my feminine side. It's fine. Oh, no. There's a bit of pink in here somewhere. <laughs> Toxic masculine of you. Squid number three. What do you reckon, Emmy? He'd like to take a bite out of me. It's probably got the wrong size, weight, colour, everything. Yeah. Yeah. Told you it's the squid, the lure choice, mate. This one is okay. Not a good squid, but a cracking one. He's on the board. Oh, and I'm on the fucking shower list. You got ink all over. Oh, look. Daddy's hit one, Bubba. Kip's on 19, and I've hit one. And you've got ink all over your forehead. Dad. Oh no! Please say the camera wasn't rolling. Oh, it was! You! Thinking up the girls. That was so amateur letting it ink on me like that. I didn't want to say anything, but yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah. Go, Sad! Tell you what, it's a late entry, but he's in. There's trip six. Does it matter that they're all like fine? No. Or am I still getting points? You're getting points. Don't you fucking do it. No, 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 no. Don't you fucking do it. I'll aim the next big one at your head. So fucking funny. No, I think Squid worked it out, mate. The ink wasn't supposed to be pleasant. 
<laughs> Get away, God. Alright, so it's 2 4. Come on, Emmas, we can do it, you and me. Hey, fist, knuckles. Nice. Team, team daddy? Nah. Gee, she's on your team, bro. What about me? Team cat? Oh, come on! She's just like, guys, I could be playing with chickens at Mima's house and I'm out here catching squid with you, loser. Loser. <laughs> well, Maddie's gearing up. I'm gonna stay on board and catch some more squidlies. What are you planning on trying to spear down there, mate? Heard about these dog tooth tuna that we've been getting in shore around here recently, mate. So as long as it's got teeth, it's about 30 kilo. I'll have a go. Well, they speared that GT just down the road there at, uh, <laughs> where was it? At the grain terminal. It was. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't spear something I'm not going to eat, mate. And there's no way I'm going to eat a GT. But anything with tentacles, I'll have a crack. Um, whiting, flounder, flathead, whatever I can get my hands on. It's all about the food right now, mate. What a perfect day to jump in the water and have a swim. Never expected to see razor clams here in Coven Sound, but you know what? If that's um, if they're as good eating as Kep says, it's going to be a good little bag there. We've got some squid, we've got some clams, and now we're going to go try find some whiting. Even if we miss the whiting, who cares? It's been a cracking little day on the water, and um, I can't think of a better way to spend the day. Well, as you saw earlier, Matty got out and had a dive today and he's come up good with razor clams. He went down, he saw something that he thought was a razor clam, came up and said, are these things legal to take? So, did a bit of quick research on uh, on, on the wrecked fish app and came up trumps, you can take 20 of them. Now, um, I'm excited because there's not much I haven't played with when it comes to the culinary world. I'm not cooked these, I know nothing about them. Um, but we're gonna break one open, have a bit of a look. From what I can see, they've got a beard like, like a muscle. You can pull that out. Um, and obviously the shell, you're gonna have to get in there somehow. I didn't bring my oyster shucker, otherwise it would have been like shucking one big oyster, I imagine. Okay, so it's got a bit of a weak, weak shell. Should be able to get into this quite easily, actually. There we go. All right, what have we got in here? So it looks like a, it looks like muscle, it looks like a massive muscle almost. Only a muscle that has guts. So you can see straight away, you're probably not going to want to eat that bit. You can see a little tendon uh, that's holding it in there. So I'll just run the knife along the edge of that tendon on both sides. Now guys, if you've played with these and you know what to do with them, I'd be keen to see your recipes and ways to uh, to process them, open the shell, how you cook them, whether we shouldn't have eaten them. <laughs> but straight away I could see uh, basically a scallop. That to me is gonna be the prime eating part. And then this here, which would ordinarily in a muscle I would eat, I probably wouldn't eat this because it's got 
it looks like it's been feeding on the on the kelp. It's got dirt inside. It's obviously a filter feeder, and, and this part here doesn't look very edible. So what we're going to do is um, is open these all up and get these little scallops out. I think we'll grill some with a bit of garlic butter. We'll do some raw with a bit of soy sauce, and uh, and we'll possibly put some in a pickle mix number style. So. Let me get into it and let's get started. So while Kep's getting these things sorted out, and you know what guys, I've, I can't help myself. When I see something new, I have to eat it. I've been eating this stuff raw, have a look at this. I've got this little, little jar there. I just busted one up, sliced it up really thin, and I could die tomorrow, but you know what? It's kind of worth it. It's kind of worth it. But while he's doing that, I'm gonna get the crumbs on the squid ring. So while Kep was, Picking up the family and getting ready. That's the squid right there. Amazing. We've got about seven decent sized squid. Okay, we got five decent sized squid and Kep caught all five of those. I caught two small ones, but I caught them when it mattered. I caught it when we needed the confidence booster, right? Yeah. And they went off the bite and I put the right jig in the water. So I'm going to own it. But um, yeah. what do you got there, brother? This is one of the big ones. Here you go. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers, bar. Oh my God. I mean, the only thing I can say tastes as good as that raw is abalone or things that are probably meant to be eaten raw. They're really yum. And oysters, that is amazing. They're really different. It's they're got sort a bit of, of a like, yeah, they're sort of taste. sweet at the end, but they are like ab. Are you getting an earthy taste to mm -hmm. it? So yeah. you can taste whatever it's eating off the bottom, but also to it's sweet. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's bloody good. Cool. Have a look at this. We got those two trippers right here having, having a laugh. <laughs> saying they're saying their last goodbyes to us eating our raw they're stuff like, that we don't know anything about. If these guys die, <laughs> we're gonna get married and we're gonna we carry on. We can go away. You guys were already married, just saying. I'm a little bit worried now. Anyway, we're gonna get this food prepped, we're gonna get it cooked. Today obviously wasn't about screaming reels and action, but have a look at the spread. You. There's some food here guys. And all these ugly bastards, I don't even know what they're gonna be like when we cook them. Oh, oh. Jesus. <laughs> and Kep. <laughs> that little suction uh, is the best thing I've ever bought. You know, put me on that story. Like, yeah, I've been wanting to buy one, one uh, I've been wanting to buy one for the kitchen, just so I can shove it on the edge of my stainless steel shit and cook. Yeah. He just got through telling me how good that suction cap is. Not a f***ing good by the looks of it. So today on Kepler's sideways cooking, we get sideways and champagne and cook. <sighs> no cuts on this hand. Oh, I got them on the other hand. There they are. <laughs> The beginning of something great. The king is coming. Well, we're always improvising in the kitchen, and Maddie's got a bit of chimichurri mix that he got from uh, the berry farm in Margaret River. So I put that into a bit of apple cider vinegar. A bit different. Normally I'd use normal vinegar. A bit of brown sugar in there, uh, and obviously the dried chimney mix. That sugar's just mixed up through that. That's great. We're going to put put a few of these in. So I don't know how this is going to work, Matt, but uh. We'll get these in, about, about five in there, and uh, we'll give them probably an hour or two uh, just to cure a little bit, and we'll eat these soon. So that'll be how we do this one, and then we're gonna get the fry pan on shortly and fry some off. The rest we'll just really thinly slice and put through some soy sauce. All right, so while we're preparing, Kep and I thought of something really clever. Who do we call that's got some really tasty seafood? Yeah, boy. We know the guy. <laughs> when he's back, when he's back, here he is. He flew in a couple of hours ago. <laughs> I did. We've got this massive tray. So we've got the shellfish that might kill us. We've got the squid and cuttlefish that are about to go on. And now we've got Perth's biggest crayfish. Now look at this. And a couple of nice fillets of baldy just to chuck in the mix as well. So another tough dinner with the boys and girls. 
Maybe the kids will get a little bit. I think they're gonna get chicken nuggets. We better start getting this on the fire because it's getting dark and we are starving. No! The cray! No, the dog's got it. Come here. Who? Who did this? Who did this? Are you serious, bro? You've got to be joking. Jimmy Churi Nummus. Well, you can feel it's firmed them up. Oh, yeah. wow. Yum. Yum. You can see um, it started to cook the outside just a little bit. The inside's still raw. Mm. That's nice. Good fan. Really good. Smoky. Yeah. Mm. That chimney's quite smoky. Um, yeah. Happy with that. I'll tell you what. I'll be getting more raises, man. For something that we've never done or tried, to get that today was pretty exciting. So, yum. All right, so hot olive oil in the pan. Bit of salt. I'm going to cook these exactly how I cook scallops. Because I think that's the go. They look like a scallop. They smell like a scallop. Just treat them like a scallop. Just need a bit All right, it's nice and hot. Now they go in for a second. And guys, if you've got a better way of cooking these, just let me know because I'm I'm really intrigued about this. I'll just put a dollop of butter in. And I'll put a little bit of uh, a little bit of love on them with the butter that's cooked off. So we're just gonna baste these in the butter. They basically end up butter poached when you're done. We got the kids here, it's all happening. Mate, they're making more noise than you are, and you're actually making a fair bit of noise here. <laughs> no, it's good. So we've got all the kids out the back on the trampoline, running amok, eating squid. They're Just pretty spoiled. Eating everything in the ocean today, mate. This wow. is amazing. All right, here we go. So this is cooked. Cooked food. I'm excited about this, mate, because yeah. this is this is still tender and tasty. Yeah, it's got to be a good treat. Couple of forks. Oh, a couple of purple forks. Oh, no, no, you get it first, buddy. Are you sure? Yeah, do it. Oh, that way, if you die, I'll see it first. <laughs> I've eaten so many already that if I'm going <laughs> to die, mate, I'm in a lot of trouble. You know what? Fuck it. So they're firmed up. But they're still so tasty. They're really tasty. Oh, the mm. butter, the butter's good with them. They're definitely firmed up. I think for me right now, Nomus is in the lead. I think Nomus too. Yeah. Although if someone yeah. served that at any party, I'd be stoked. Yeah. It's good. Halfway between a scallop and a abalone. Yeah, yeah, it is. That's right. Yeah. Mm. Right. Cool. All right. Next one. Oh, so this is the last taste test for this thing, Kev. What have we got? This is the soy, this is raw with soy. Done nummus. Yeah. Done grill with butter. Yeah. We're doing a bit of, bit of thinly sliced with soy sauce, just yeah, raw. Yeah. Raw, and then we're gonna go and smash half a cray. Why have we only got half a cray, Matt? Why is there only half a cray? Do you want to just tell everyone why there's only half a cray? <laughs> there's two Labradors up for sale right now. Um, <laughs> One of them is a Labra Retriever, he's a gorgeous dog, he just steals craze, the other one's just an asshole. All the time. So and I'm sure it. she was the instigator of this whole event. But anyway, so we're going to talk about... Silent pit. Their first cray was actually a jumbo. The... <laughs> it was! <laughs> a jumbo! It was! Legitimately, eh? Yeah. And they look pretty damn guilty as well. Alright, let's do this, please. Solely guilty. So this is soy, this is raw, razor, clam, fish, whatever it's called. Well, it was an abalone scallop that we called it. I'm actually going to lie to you. Abalone or a scallop? Scabble <laughs> we came up with something pretty stupid, but that, boys. That's the winner. I think it's the winner. And That's you know what? Winner. If you whacked a bit of ginger on that, like, you know, the sashimi ginger, that mm. the, your pickled stuff, that'd be sensate. That's, That's good. good. That's actually oh really, yep. Gosh. Like, amazing good. So, okay. The bottom line out of this is that clam was a lot of hard work, but 
For what we got out of a bag of clams, man, that, that was worth it. Bloody good. I think we'll do that again. We'll do it again, and I think we'll do it another three ways. <laughs> All right, let's go eat dinner. We're going to peace out here, guys, because no. we just need to drink and eat. Cheers. Ah, See you on the next one. Mac. What's go what is going on here, mate? Coco, Mackie, what is going on here? Mac. Your last chance, buddy. <laughs> you can't even be mad at him, mate. You've literally got garlic butter on your nose that from eating half a crayfish. He actually does. <laughs> <laughs> You're an asshole and you know it.